Hey everyone, you're watching the Lambda series and in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can run Lambda functions on a scheduled interval. So to demonstrate how schedule events work, I created a simple Lambda function that sends a daily email. So for example, you could use this as an email that is automatically sent each morning with some news for your team or something like that. So let me walk you through the function I wrote. This function uses the Mailgun API to send out uh, emails. So I started by defining the API key and the domain name of my Mailgun um, account. Now I've used environment variables for this and I'll make a video later on explaining how you can use environment variables with Apex. After the API key and the domain, I create a new instance of the Mailgun uh, library, this is Mailgun.js, and I give it my API key and I give it my domain name so that we can start working with this. And then I create a new object, this is the data object, where I define everything about my email. So here I say that the email is sent by lambda at cfg.be and that the email should go to hi at cfg.be with the subject hello and the contents of the email is this email was sent by lambda on a defined schedule. Now if this were to be a useful function you would change this text and you would actually generate something or look something up into a database but for now let's just leave it like this. So afterwards we call the send method on the Mailgun API and we pass along the data object that we just created with all the information about our email and then we attach a callback function to the send method and we say that this callback receives an error and a body and we just pass that along uh, to the lambda callback function right here. So this means that if there is an error the error gets passed along to our lambda function and our lambda function fails or if there is not an error but there is a, something in the body then we pass body along as the output message of our lambda function and that will make our lambda function succeed. So this is the function that I want to create a schedule for. I want this function to run every single day at a specific time. Now I've already deployed this to lambda with Apex so let's go to the lambda console and check it out. Okay, so here we are in the Lambda console and I've opened up my function that I've just shown you. It's called scheduled email send. And as you can see, I cannot edit the code because I have deployed this function with Apex. Now, if you're wondering why I cannot change the code, what Apex is and how you can deploy your code automatically, check out one of my previous videos on how to deploy functions with Apex. Now, to configure our schedule, we have to go through the CloudWatch console and not through the Lambda console. So let me go to CloudWatch and under the section events, we have to create a new rule. So let's open up rules. Let's click to create a new rule. And as event source, we're gonna click on schedule because we want to run this on a schedule. Now we have the choice. We can either have this a fixed rate of every couple of minutes, hours or days, or we can use a cron-like expression. Now I'm gonna use the cron expression because I want to trigger this function near the end of this video so that I can show you that the email is indeed working. Now if you don't know how to write cron expressions, there are a lot of cron generators out there on the internet, but be aware that this is not regular cron. Amazon has actually added a parameter, uh, so be careful when you copy and paste your cron expressions because otherwise they won't work. So right now it's 1931, so let's say within a couple of minutes I'm done talking and I want to execute this function every day at 1936, for example. So then I'm gonna say 36 minutes after 19 hours, every single day, every single month, all weekdays and all year. Okay, so that's our cron expression. So let's now add a target and if you click add target, it automatically asks you to add a lambda function so that's pretty convenient because we want to do that let's go ahead and select our function we're going to select scheduled email send and now you can also configure this to run a specific version of your function and you can configure some input that should go to your lambda function now we don't need this for our little script so i'm going to just click configure details and i'm going to give it a name i'm going to say evening email schedule and we can also give it a description and then we obviously want to make sure that it's enabled and we're just going to say create rule 
And there you go, the rule was successfully created. And now all that's left is to wait until the time has come that we set our Lambda function should run. So I'm gonna speed up this video and then I'm gonna show you the email that I received from my Lambda function. And here we are in my personal Gmail account. You can see we have received the email from our Lambda function. So it comes from lambda at cfg.be. It goes to hi at cfg.be. It was mailed by Mailgun. And the contents of the email is this email was sent by Lambda on a defined schedule. So that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how you can use Lambda to write data to DynamoDB. I hope you find this topic interesting. And if you do, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, or follow me on Twitter.